I want to talk to you today about dream interpretation from a Christian perspective. Now, I don't know if you realize it or not, but the Bible is full of dreams and interpretations, especially more specifically in the Old Testament times. But there is a certain perspective that we get from uh, the Bible as far as dream interpretation is in the New Testament. Now, in the New Testament, the Bible alludes to men seeing, having visions and, and seeing dreams that are God-given. So it is very possible that God can speak to us in dreams. God can speak to us in vision. But how do we interpret those things from a Christian perspective? I think we must understand that not all dreams are uh, of God. Not all dreams are, are God, is God trying to speak to us. And so when we understand those things and we come from it from that point of view, then we won't be so quick to read into so many different things. Because you could dream simply because you, you, maybe you ate the wrong thing before you went to bed. And so just because you have a dream about a specific situation or circumstance does not necessarily mean that it is God trying to speak to you. But when we interpret dreams from a Christian perspective, we understand that if God, in fact, is trying to speak to us, then he's going to let us know what it is that he's trying to tell us. So if, you having, if you're having a dream and this reoccurring theme keeps coming to you, seek God. Because how do we do from a Christian perspective is we understand we just simply ask the one that created us. Lord, what are you trying to say to me? What is it that you're trying to reveal to me through this particular dream? And I think that's one way to understand how to interpret dreams from a Christian perspective. Now, we also know that there are symbols in the Bible that mean certain things at certain times. And so we could use that as a guideline as to what it is that perhaps God is trying to say to us in dreams. But I'd be very cautious with that and just and make sure that we're asking and seeking God and not just getting caught up in the, in the themes and the typology and symbols of different things in our dreams. So when we do that, then we are in a place to where we can properly discern and interpret our dreams from a Christian perspective.